simulation of basic analog and digital circuits. In this video, we will quickly go through the simulation of basic analog and digital circuits using TINA. Here we will show just the main steps of creating and simulating these circuits, but for each circuit in this video we have a detailed tutorial video as well. Creation and Simulation of an RLC Circuit We will create the RLC circuit shown on the screen. First select and place the resistor from the basic toolbar, then add and set the other components. We still need to add the ground and a voltage pin from the meters toolbar. Double click on the voltage generator. The default setting is a unit step, and its voltage is 1 volt. Let's change R1 to 200 ohm, and C1 from 1 microfarad to 1 nanofarad. Now the circuit is ready for analysis. Let's first make a transient analysis. Select transient from the analysis menu. Set the end display time to 50 microseconds. Next, select the zero initial values option and press OK. The transient time response appears in the diagram window of TINA. OK, now let's add the diagram to the schematic editor window to store it together with the circuit schematic. In the diagram window, select Edit and then Copy from the menu or use the Control C hotkey. Next, in the schematic editor window, go to the edit menu and select paste to paste the diagram or use the control V hotkey. Now let's generate the accurate closed formula describing the transient response using the symbolic analysis capability of TINA. From the analysis menu, select symbolic analysis and then semi-symbolic transient. We can also draw a diagram using the formula and compare it with the numerical result. They are very close to each other. The difference is due to the numerical solution used at the transient analysis. Okay, now let's add this formula to the schematic editor window. Okay, let's continue with the AC analysis. The AC amplitude characteristic appears, but at the same time the program has calculated the phase Nyquist, group delay, and AC Bode diagrams. Let's generate the closed formula of the AC transfer function using symbolic analysis. The formula of the transfer function appears. We can also add it to the schematic editor window. Finally, add a title to the circuit. This concludes our demonstration on creating and simulating an RLC circuit. Creating a fourth order active filter circuit. We will create and analyze a fourth order active filter circuit using the SPICE model of the OPA364 operational amplifier. Let's create the circuit. Drop the voltage generator and then two resistors and two capacitors. Set the component values. Next, add the operational amplifier to the circuit. Add a few more components to the circuit. Select two grounds from the basic toolbar and a battery. Now, you can wire up the circuit. The first block is ready. Create the second block using window selection, copy and paste. Finally, Add two outputs to the circuit, using the voltage pin components from the meter's toolbar. Now, the circuit is ready for testing. First, save it, then test it. Select Analysis, AC Analysis, AC Transfer Characteristic. Set the frequency range, enable all diagrams, then press OK. Several diagrams will be generated, included Amplitude, Phase, Nyquist, Group Delay and Bode diagrams. You can run two cursors on the diagrams and read the values and the difference. You can add labels to the curves. Insert the diagram and store it together with the circuit schematic. Finally, add the title to the circuit. Simulation of a half adder with four basic gates using TINA. 
We will use basic OR and NOT inverter gates, high-low switches, and voltage pins for the outputs. First, select and place the gates from the gates toolbar, and then place them on the workplace. Next, from the switches toolbar, select two high-low switches, and place them as shown in the video. Next, select and place two voltage pins from the meters toolbar. And the circuit is now complete. OK, let's rename VF1, VF2, and the switches. Now, to test the circuit, click the DIG interactive button. Play with the switches toggling between low and high levels to produce all the input combinations. If both inputs are low, sum and carry are also low. If just one input is high, then sum is high too and carry is low. If both inputs are high, then sum is low and carry is high. Now modify the inputs to plot a time diagram and replace the switches with pulse sources. Run digital timing analysis from the analysis menu. Click the analysis menu and select digital timing analysis. Set the simulation end time to 1, then press OK. Now all signals are displayed separately in a time diagram. Creating a simple counter circuit using a PIC microcontroller with C language. Let's create the above circuit. Click the Logic IC's MCUs tab on the toolbar, then press the MCU icon. Select the PIC 16F73 microcontroller from the list. Click OK. The PIC microcontroller will be attached to your cursor. Place it wherever you wish on the workspace. Select a digital high source from the Sources menu on the toolbar and place it on the workspace. OK, now select and place two hex displays from the meters toolbar, as shown next. Place a ground as well by selecting it from the basic toolbar. Connect VSS VDD pins and the hex displays. Assume you have XC8 installed on your PC. Double-click the PIC microcontroller. Then click the three dots button in the ASM code field. Click the C code in the MCU input file selection window. Then click on the C project button. Click the add existing file to project icon in the MCU IDE window. Select the previously downloaded picflasher.c file. Or create and save a file with the simple content shown on the next screen. Next. Click on the Make Project button. As soon as the Compile Successful message appears, press the Save Project button. Finally, press the Dig button to start the interactive simulation. The PIC microcontroller starts counting. Arduino Blinking LED Simulation Using Tina we will create and simulate the Arduino controlled blinking LED circuit on the screen with Tina. Click the insert button to invoke the insert menu, then select macro. Open the Arduino Uno.tsm. Next, select and place the voltage source and the ground from the basic toolbar and connect them to the Arduino Uno board as shown in the video. To create the output part of the circuit. Select and place the LED from the optoelectronic toolbar, then select and place the resistor and the ground. Finally, select and place the voltage pin and connect the components with wire to the Arduino board. Now load and compile the Arduino code. Select the previously downloaded C code in the blink.ino file and press open. OK, let's quickly follow the operation of the C code. Initialize the digital pin LED underscore built in as an output. Call the loop function to create an infinite loop for the instructions between the opening and closing braces. Turn the LED on with a logic high voltage. 
Create a 500 millisecond delay. Turn the LED off with a logic low voltage. Create a 500 millisecond delay. Return to the opening brace of the loop function. Now compile the code. Next, click on the Make Project button. When the Compile Successful message appears, press the Save Project button. Click the Close icon on the toolbar to close the macro. To see the generated waveform, run Transient Analysis from the Analysis menu. Change the end display value into 2 seconds. After the simulation ends, the diagram window appears. It shows a symmetric square wave with a period of 1 second. OK, now let's change the waveform to an asymmetric square wave with the half periods of 1000 milliseconds high and 500 milliseconds low. In the MCU IDE window, change the Turn the LED On delay value to 1000. Next, compile and save the changes. Run again Analysis Transient. The required waveform appears. OK, now let's check the operation using the live interactive mode of the program. Press the TR button. The LED starts blinking with the required timing transformed into seconds. Release the TR button to stop the blinking. Finally, let's see how this circuit works in real life. This concludes our Arduino blinking circuit simulation video.